Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Berseria. We are here in Isolt. We are asking around for Grimoire, the lady that uh, Maggie Lee is supposed to know. And we should be looking for her. So let's head out over here to the northeast exit. We got a sub event and a star, so we are exactly where we need to be. And we got a, um, an inn here. And we also got another building. So houses are on stilts so that they stay above the water. At high tide, the town looks like one big raft. So that's the reason. At first, I couldn't tell if it was clever engineering or just shoddy craftsmanship. <laughs> so which one is it, though? Alright, nothing over there. A mystery chef. I, w I wish they had those back, though. It made exploring fun worthwhile to get these new recipes that did some ridiculousness. Dream herring. Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Mogulu, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? <clears throat> hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. Damn. Oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a kraken. Wow. Keep this up, and I swear I'll eat. It's them. Teresa. The final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. Believe. I'll try to make you proud, sister. Wincest. They're sending him to Polymedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Haria. Understood. Doesn't sound like a problem to us. Y'all need to stop being scrubs. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Wow. Sister. I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. Wincest. So, there's a demon in Haria. Sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. Damn. <laughs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. <laughs> Bruh. The Arthur meme. In full effect. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. Snitching. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes. That I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> it's true. 
Let's find some more people to question around town. I know she ain't snitching on us. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> Snitches around her, you know what happens? They get stitches. Vessels in privacy. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Wow. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew. What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes, but it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... Softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? What? What the hell are you saying? Older sister, younger brother. Goddamn. Hold on. To maximize time, I think we should always do this first. Ooh, we got the Moonstone, and we got the Ghost Ship Anchor, but did I get any new treasure? No. I did not. Come on, man. Show them how I Freed's crew can sail. I agree, but come on, fam. I really need that last item. I need y'all to find it. <laughs> I need y'all to find that, man. Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel. Not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? <laughs> I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. <laughs> but Shigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Laviset, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Laviset. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. <laughs> wow, it Velvet. seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh. Ooh. Two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick. Which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead? <laughs> I'm sure Rokuro or Aizen would be up for that. These girls just be fighting for no reason, fam. They just be fighting for no reason. They ain't got no reason to be fighting right now, man. We ain't come here for all that. We came here to kill Torius. <laughs> <laughs> Bomby fluid. Who gives a damn about Bomby fluid? 
The people of South Gand originally worshipped Amanuch, the Empyrean of Water. I'm about to get the some lives Amanuch. of the people of yeah. the Southern Isles are Amanuch. inherently tied to the sea. Whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection, everyone offered their prayers to Amanoch. But the Abbey worships Enominot, don't they? Do the people still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey. But one small village deep in South Gand is a special case. The village is called Haria, and even now they keep their faith in Amanoch. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Then again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? You're right. I'm a nooch. I'm a nooch. I'm a nooch. I'm a nooch. Lady Teresa is an exorcist praetor here from Heloise. She was sent here as a sort of punishment, but she put the town in order with a firm, deft hand. We started this year ago, but she recommended Lord Oscar as a replacement, so we should be fine. Really? As a punishment, huh? I wonder what she got punished for. For maybe a letting Lafayette go or whatever? Probably something like that. Something to do with Lafayette, I bet. A North bottle. Let's come down here. Let's get these cat balls. Cat balls, cat balls. Alone in the world with some little cat balls. <laughs> you plan to be a fisherman when you're older, do you? Nope. I'm gonna captain my own ship. Don't be daft. Every fisherman is a captain. Even if his ship is a bit small. Damn. Sounds like some personal problem, my boy. Sounds like you got some personal issues going on there. I ain't worried about my small ship. As a black person. I, I'm entitled to having a big ship. Trust me. It's true. It's damn true. <laughs> oh my god, look at these guys. Let's eat them. <laughs> Let's eat them. <laughs> Let's eat them. <laughs> Somebody's under here doing something. Why is there a sub event here? Oh, you see that? There's a kid right here. Oh, I, how do I get to him? Is the thing. What does it mean to become an adult? <laughs> the eternal question of youth. Have you ever heard of the ceremony of adulthood? It's a yearly tradition on this island. If I remember right, it's totally wild. Everyone throws bananas and porringes at each other. Traditionally, yes, but things have changed over the years. Bananas and porringes are a thing of the past. People are always reaching for bigger and better things, right? In this case, it's watermelons. Whole watermelons. Ooh, You're delicious. throwing watermelons? That's gotta hurt. Trust me, I know. But watermelons are the least of our worries. Recently, people have started flinging coconuts. <laughs> coconuts? Those things are as hard as rocks! <laughs> Trust me, I know. Like getting hit with a brick. Now, every year, there are some kids who never make it to adulthood. You don't mean they... Yeah, I've kept putting it off myself, but it looks like this year, I've got no choice but to participate. That's crazy! It's far too dangerous! And more importantly, how does it make someone an adult? There are ancient traditions that say overcoming danger marks a child's coming of age. Some people still cling to the old ways. You've hit the nail on the head. There are lots of old folks that sit around complaining how weak as darn kids are. The hypocrites. Back then, they used bananas and watermelons. They even cracked the watermelons ahead of time. Wow. I don't think cracking a <laughs> coconut would help much either. So that's why you're standing about looking blue. I'm so ashamed of myself for being scared. If you don't want to do the ceremony, why not just skip it? I'd love to, but I don't really have a choice. I wouldn't be able to show my face around here if I chickened out. Having the courage to say no to something you don't feel is right. Isn't that the true mark of an adult? Wait! You're right! <laughs> now I can finally become an adult! Oh yeah! Look how grown up I am! <laughs> And getting carried away with yourself and acting the fool is the true mark of immaturity. Sorry. 
You're right. <laughs> These dudes say, back in my day, we used to throw shit at each other. <laughs> like, my boy, why? But why? But why? <laughs> we used to throw freaking AIDS and HIV syringes at each other. Back then, <laughs> you had to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these dudes wilding out over here. All right, so sorry, I was just messing around with equipment a little bit, trying to get my boys and girls to learn some stuff. And it looks like we have an event here. Hey, this doll, it looks like Bienfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Imperian Amanoch. That's Imperian Amanoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but nooch. not without a bit of a temper. <laughs> they pronounced it you nooch. saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Amanochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta <laughs> assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> <sighs> oh... Wait, that sounds like... And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Really? Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Really? Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! Ugh... <sighs> To the beach, we go! Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> spies, eh? Hey, we got a... We got a game here. Character card family. Hell no, that game is lame. I played that off camera and I hated it. That game was hella lame. That's the worst mini game I ever played, fam. <laughs> That's saying a lot. You know what I'm saying? I would rather prefer the simulated Blitzball in Final Fantasy X2 than that shit. My god. Here we go, guys. It's time. Wait a minute. There might be some more sub events here. Yup. There's two of them. So we'll go watch these other sub events. We'll also enter the end because I think we could use some BG for most of our party members here. So we're going to go to the end really quick and then we're going to go ahead and watch these two sub events as well so let's go ahead and do this let's talk to this girl domesticated pinyon has a docile flavor compared to wild pinyon wild pinyon has a uh, lot of personality it's rowdy all the way down jeez they eating penguins my dude they are literally eating penguins all right, so here we are. We are about to go to the east side of this area to view these two new sub events that just popped up. I wonder what they're gonna be. Probably some more randomness, but you get to learn more about the world through these sub events, which is pretty interesting. So that's why I kind of like watching them. Here we go. It's a true shame that Lady Teresa will be leaving our island. I'm a little relieved to tell you the truth. She was a bit too strict for a free soul like me. I guess not even the heat of Southcan could melt her icy cold personality. But strict as she was, she was also fair. She never asked anyone to do what she wouldn't do herself. What? Even when we were fighting with Haria Village over the temple, she kept her cool and listened to what they had to say. If it wasn't for her, we'd probably still be squabbling with Haria. That's true. But did the Abbey really need to take over the temple for themselves? She was really pretty, too. Sorry to whoever takes her place, but she's the only exorcist for me. Lady Teresa Linares! You were our protector! Yeah, we need the chilly charms of the Frozen Queen to cool down uh, the heat in Southgand. Ah, uh, the way those ice-cold eyes of hers look down at me with disdain, like I was something filthy. Teresa forever! Wow, there's one in every town. <laughs> There's one in every single goddamn town. Southgan lumber exports have been on the rise, but so has the popularity of Southgan cuisine. 
Like Pengyon? Pengyongs are our flagship food, and our Pengyong farms are flourishing. But oranges, bananas, and our other fruits also sell well. I've never had any oranges or bananas. Oranges are sweet but tart and very juicy. They're the perfect refreshment on a hot day. They're that fruit that glows in the dark, right? Also known as candle fruit. That's the one. And now bananas. They're soft, sweet, and filling when eaten raw. But if you dry them out, they get crunchy like peanuts. And they stay good for years. Huh, that's cool. South Gand is pretty well off compared to other places. The fish are plentiful, and the trees are heavy with fruit. That's why I'm shipping the excess to other towns. This guy here, he's a true sailor. Yeah, good luck. I wish you the best. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, too bad you're probably gonna die soon. Ah, ah, you nice guys never last that long. Anyway, let's get out of here before we get, you know, the same fate this guy's gonna get. <laughs> so let's go ahead and be on our way to McCrill Beach. I think that's the area of the demo. I think that's the area we played in the demo for sure. All right, guys, so here we go. We're about to head out to the beach. Thundering Saldum Beach. Waters. Yeah. So this is Mockler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Axe beat. Oh shit, it's the axe beats. They say you can come get your ass beat. Oh <laughs> the axe We will beat. need to be extremely wary. Did you think you could escape me? Did you really think you could escape? No escape! No escape! No escape! <laughs> you know how many times they told them that there was no escape and they still didn't? They didn't want to listen. A forward killer! about to begin allows me to pretty much rank up my BG for the next battle. So that's why I started spamming it at the end because I had so many souls. I'm like, why not? Alright, here we go. Might as well just build up my meter, right? It seems silly to keep using you like one of your coolest moves, but that shit's legitimately smart. Woo! Hit the big 
Oh, how could this happen to me? Alright, I gotta sit here and charge until I get red. No, I'm not like this! <laughs> You're wide open! <laughs> they were so stunned, so I said, why not? Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just go, city! Uh, 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 goodbye. No escape! Hold up! Eat it! No escape! You're wide open! Bird! Who wants some next? What is this? Isn't it hard to wield a blade in each hand? My weapons are a part of me. Aizen said the same thing. Totally okay, different. No, it's totally different. What good friends. <laughs> Bruh. Expedition has returned. Let's see. Did we get the new idol? Yes, we got the pie. We got the Morgan crew flag. All right, cool. So let's finally go to a Martian subcon. Scout get a new recipe. This recipe sounds delicious. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Lafi said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything. In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. <laughs> but that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! Bruh. It's all cans with you. Alright, is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Norman, there we go. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. Yep. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! <laughs> we Norman hate being called that! Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable! That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different! That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> Roku to troll. My boy be trolling. Trolling, trolling, trolling. We got a southern day coming out. A foe worth killing. Oh shit, I can't switch. Switch over to another character. I mean, I wanted to switch a character, 
with Eleanor, but I didn't mean to switch to a different character like Lafayette and then switch him out on accident. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't switch him out, but I realized that I went, I hit right on the D-pad and not up. What are those penguins doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm. Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But how do they make the eggs? Uh -oh. huh? That's well. So Luffy said, "Here's an interesting fact: a single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs." Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> they look tasty, but I'll pass. But you better pass. There's something up here. Look at this. They try to hide this. They're trying to hide secrets from me? Don't you know who I am? I'm Sir Loinhart. Loinhart. Sir Loinhart. All I came up here for was some goddamn. some dumbass cat balls. Wait, this looks like there's something else higher up. Okay. Secret, 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 secret. A chest. A chest. Ain't nothing in it worth it. Oh, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It's never worth it. It's never worth it. Exploring in this game is worthless. A full word killer. No. Invincibility. quick save make a short you know take a short break here and once we come back we'll be back with more tales of brazaria